This is a quick view of the Stream Deck plugins for Cubase and Nuendo. And it is for those of you that haven't installed the plugins yet, but like to know what it's all about. So there are two plugins, one for Nuendo and one for Cubase. Uh, they work exactly the same. It's only a matter of which door they integrate with. So I will show for Cubase, since I have that installed, but it's the same for Nuendo. In the plugin, you have two actions, one for key commands and one for MIDI commands. And if we look at the key commands first, you will have a list available for all of the key commands that are currently configured in your DAW. The plugin reads the configuration files for the DAW and presents a list of available key commands. So you can select uh, any key command. Let's select cycle. And if we now use the button, we can toggle the cycle mode in the door. And if we like to add a key command, let's say we want to add the mix console three as a key command. So let's add a key for that one like that. And once we have done that, we can select the command in Stream Deck. And now the button opens Mix Console 3. And that's all there is for the key commands, actually. It's very simple to configure and use. Now let's have a look at MIDI commands. They require a bit more configuration because MIDI commands rely on a generic remote device in your door that has to be configured with all the commands that you want to control using the Stream Deck. But once that has been done, these commands are available on the Stream Deck. So let's pick the cycle command here too, and we can add some nice icons. So let's add two icons for different states, like that. And now if I use that button on my Stream Deck, I can toggle the uh, cycle mode in my door. And also if I change the state in my door, it will change the state on Stream Deck. So you will have bidirectional communication between your door and Stream Deck. And that is a big difference between the MIDI action and the key command action. Key commands are unidirectional, so, so you never get any feedback from your door to Stream Deck, while the MIDI action is bidirectional, so you can get state back from your door to your Stream Deck. When you install the plugin, you will get two things installed at the same time that you can use to get a head start with this media action. You get a profile for Stream Deck with a number of buttons predefined. And in your door, you will have a template that you can import that matches the buttons in the Stream Deck profile. So if you import the template to the generic remote configuration in your door and the profile in your Stream Deck, you will have something to start with and look how it is done. The configuration of the generic remote device is more in detail explained in another video, so I recommend looking at that if you are interested. That's it for the Cubase and Nuendo plugins. I can also recommend the MIDI plugin that adds functionality. For instance, you can handle fader, volume faders much better with the MIDI plugin than what you can with the Cubase and Nuendo plugin. So have a look at that one too. That's all for this quick view of the Cubase and Nuendo plugins. Thanks for watching.